Module 5, Lesson 2, Homework. Number 1. Make the following boxes on centimeter grid paper. Cut and fold each to make three open boxes, taping them so they hold their shapes. How many cubes would each would fill each box? Explain how you found the number. Now I can't actually cut them out and fold them and show you, but if you do that, you will find that this one has a base of one, two, three, four on the base. And if you fold these flaps up, you'll see that you have one layer because there's only it only goes up one centimeter cube. So you would be able to fit four cubes in each of the into that box. The second one you would be able to, let's see, you have a base of one, two, three, four, five, six. So you have six on the base, but then when you fold these flaps over, notice that it has one layer and two layers. So not just one layer, but two la layers. So you'll be able to fit six on the bottom layer and then another six. So we have six on the bottom layer and then six on the top layer, which would give us 12 cubes. And then on this last one, we would have how many in the base? Let's count. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve in the base. And so there's twelve on the bottom. And then these flaps will tell us how many layers we have. So there's one, two layers. So 12 on the bottom layer and 12 on the top layer, which would add up to 24 cubes that could fit inside. Number two, how many centimeter cubes would fit inside each box? Explain your answer using words and diagrams on each box. The figures are not drawn to scale. So on the A, we have one, two, three that we can see, four that we can see but we see that the whole top is shaded. This whole thing is shaded, meaning that, let's, let's draw this. And we can go ahead and expand this line so that it goes all the way across. So we can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six cubes. So we have six cubes because there are three in the front and three in the back. B, we have, I'm gonna do the same thing I did before here. So I'm gonna continue these lines there. So we have one, two, three, and then in the back, four, five, six. So there's six on the top layer, which means then on the bottom, there are six on the bottom. So we have 12 cubes. And then the last one, expand that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the top layer. So then there would be another eight in this middle layer. So there's eight there, eight there, eight here, and eight here. So we can combine these and say 16 in the middle, and then another eight on the bottom. And all of that would add up to 32 cubes. And number three, the pattern, the box pattern below holds 24 one centimeter cubes. Draw two different box patterns that would hold the same number of cubes. So we're gonna draw our own box patterns. We need to draw two different ones. So I'm gonna start with, we need to know our facts for this. So I need things that can multiply to get 24. So I'm gonna start with six times two is 12, and then we would need two layers of that. So I'm gonna start with a six by two. So 
So there's my base. I have 12 on the bottom. And I'll draw a different side for the, or a different, I'll use a different color for the side. So we need two layers of that in order to get 12 cubes. So we have a bottom layer and a top layer, or in order to get 24 cubes. So I need two layers. So there's one flap. There's my side flap, it has two layers. There's another one, and I just need to finish it out on this side. There we go. So if I fold up the sides, and I know I'm not the best artist, but if I were to fold up the sides, I would have two layers, and 12 on the bottom, 12 on the top, Hopefully you can visualize that. If you can't, use cut it out. Use your own box patterns. Try and really um, use your hands and make these. And they, then you don't have to just visualize it in your mind. You can actually hold it and feel it. And that is so helpful. Okay, so we need to draw one more. I'm going to do, I would say four by three, but that's what this one already is. So... Let's see, what else can multiply to get 12? Um, you could do a 12 by one, but that's gonna be really long and skinny, and I don't think, I'm gonna, I, don't think I have enough room for that. Um, we could do something with more layers, so we could do like three by two on the bottom, which would be six. So if there's six on the bottom, I'm gonna need six times four would get me the 24 that I need. So I'm gonna need four layers of that. So one, two, there's four layers there. Again, hopefully you are a better artist than me. Four layers there. Four layers there and four layers there. So if we have six on the bottom with four layers, then six times four, that will get us 24 cubes.